Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will take you through all the steps to become a ski instructor plus some extra tips and tricks. First up I think we should start with what even is a ski instructor? Well, a ski instructor is someone that teaches people how to ski. That can be from all ages, from a kid to someone that's 80. So you will be working with all ages, all groups, all kind of people. But the main goal is to learn how to ski safely. Then I want to talk about the age group that you can be. If you're from 16 till whatever age, as long as you can ski, you're good to go. Meaning if you're 15 or under, you can't make it. But from 16 and up, you are more than welcome to join. You can take the ski course in many different countries. I chose Austria because first of all, I love traveling. Second of all, Austria has some beautiful mountains. Third off, they have an international course. So not all ski courses offer English, but the one I did in Austria, they do. So my tips is just search around, find something that matches you and then just go for it. Just be aware that the price range is a bit different from countries to countries. In Austria, it's around 1,300 euros. Some are more expensive, but let's talk about what's included in that price. Because it seems like a lot, which it is. But let's break it down. What you will get from the program price is accommodation. You will be at a hotel. Then you will have food included. I had breakfast and dinner included. Then you will get a ski pass. And then on top of that, you will become a ski instructor. So all the theory classes, as well as a job next season is what you will be getting for that price. The ski school might be a bit different. So I'm just talking from my experience, but I had a hotel room with two other roommates. We had one bed that was a single bed and then a double bed so you know you got really cozy and got to know each other very well the standards at the hotel is not the best but it works perfectly fine also the dinners and the breakfast are just very normal and nothing fancy but it will get you through the day which in my opinion it's the most important now let's jump over to what you should bring when you go to a ski course what kind of equipment do i really need to bring you can bring your own which is fabulous if you do i however do not have skis so i was able to rent a pair of boots skis poles and a helmet. What I was not able to rent was a pair of goggles and I wasn't aware of that so I didn't bring goggles. So please, 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 you don't have to bring anything of equipment except goggles and it's very much recommended because your eyes need to be protected. I had to pay 250 euros for all the equipment for 10 days so it's okay price just be aware that this will come on top of the price that you pay for the course. The ski course I took lasts for 10 days and it's 10 pretty intense days because you will go skiing from day one till day 10 which is amazing because you're up in the mountains skiing it's a whole other level of something i've experienced before but you do get quite tired and on top of the skiing you also have the theory classes which usually last for an hour after skiing for me i skied from 9 till around 3 p.m and then it was theory from 4 till 5. it is a lot to get through within those 10 days but it is very nice to just get it done and over with. And then we have the exams. To become a ski instructor, you will need to pass three exams and those are theory exams, hence why you need to have your theory classes. Then you have a teaching exam where you are teaching how you would teach other people to ski, but you will usually do that within your group that you're skiing with. And then the third exam is the skiing exam. And this is what you prepare for all those 10 days you are skiing. These are all super important and you need to pass all of them because if you don't pass one of those three you will not qualify to be a ski instructor the ski course was not placed in the mountain meaning we had to drive to get to the slopes every day you have two options if no one in the course has a car you usually rent a taxi every day that takes you to the slopes or if somebody has an extra space for you in the car, they will just drive you and you just pay them afterwards. It's usually between 20 to 100 euros for the drive to the lift. Just something that's cool to have in mind before you go. 
after you have been skiing for several hours, had your theory and had your dinner at your hotel, usually people would either read for their exams, which will be in the end of the course, or they would just hang around, usually in the bar, having a beer, just talking, get to know each other. So it is always some free time after all the heavy work has been done in the morning. The last thing I want to mention is that it's super important to get to know people. And that's also because these jobs to become a ski instructor is really much about who you know as well as of course you can apply but it is never dumb to know some extra people from what i've understood get to know them talk about jobs and opportunities will open up that was all i have for you as information to becoming a ski instructor if you have any more questions or want to know anything more please comment down below or you can just send me a message on instagram and i will happily reply i wish you all a beautiful day and i hope i'll see you in my next video